All right, take a look at this. People are vowing they'll never go back to Cracker Barrel after the chain added vegan sausage to its menus. For any foreigners wondering what politics is like in the US, Cracker Barrel is the perfect microcosm. The perfect microcosm. Because here's Cracker Barrel not taking anything away, but simply adding a meatless option for those who want it. And the people who've lost nothing are so offended at the prospect of other people being convenienced that they are threatening to never go back. That really is American conservatism in a nutshell. You know, believing that because others are gaining, you are losing. That's how Donald Trump works, and that's why the right wing loves him so much, because he doesn't believe that he's winning unless you're losing. Everyone else is a sucker. That's why the right wing's always, well, the far right wing especially, is always whining and crying about open borders, even though we don't have open borders. Because if we had open borders, the you know, other people's militaries could come in and do whatever they wanted, let alone, you know, just refugees and migrants. And we actually went over that in a different video today. But, you know, just the thought and the belief that others being able to have access takes away from you. I mean, think about just, you know, during the times of segregation, like my father, my father's 72 years old. You know, he talks about, you know, when he was a little boy growing up and, you know, the movements that were made just so that schools could be integrated, just so that, you know, these people who took away from the Native Americans and took away from blacks and took away from minorities, populations within the country, you know, they were so afraid of those same groups that they robbed getting things back. Wonder why that is. That is the conservative movement in a nutshell. Here's a thought for conservatives. If you don't want abortion, don't get an abortion. If you don't want a gay marriage, don't get gay married. And if you don't want an impossible sausage from Cracker Barrel, don't get an impossible sausage from Cracker Barrel. But this type of thinking permeates into conservative corners all throughout society. Even when you look at things like the dating market, I'm sure maybe a lot of you are familiar with the Manosphere, the Red Pill, MGTOW communities. And there's a lot of extremist corners in there where, you know, guys who are in the same circles who are, you know, this white nationalist movements, or maybe even not, maybe they're just hard conservatives on certain issues. They'll be in their internet corners whining and crying about women in the workplace and women having jobs and making money and basically complaining that, oh, I... I don't get any women and it's not easy for me. I don't want to take any responsibility for myself. I don't want to get better. Women should just do what I want. They should just do what I say. They should just give me what I deserve, even though you don't want to improve upon yourself in any type of way. You don't actually want women to like you and be attracted to you naturally. You just want them to do what you want, do what you say, because you're a man, because ah. But, you know, again, that's just, uh, you know, living in a false reality. But, you know, again, this type of thinking really permeates everywhere because these women are making money and doing well in the workplace. That takes away from me. Men are angry. Grow up, man. But why should nobody be able to eat an impossible sausage from Cracker Barrel? Like, not for nothing, but if your views are so fragile that the mere existence of other people with different behaviors and beliefs feels threatening to you, then that's not their problem. It's yours. Or, you know, like, for instance, you know, while we're all basically turning into bacon because it's so hot outside because of climate change, you know, when the North Pole is is ablaze, basically, and everybody's broke, drowning in debt, including corporations, because our socioeconomic system just doesn't work and needs to be modernized. Our education system's a joke. Uh, our healthcare system's a joke. While the entire country's falling behind the rest of the developing world and the rest of the advanced world, you know, the conservatives gather around and, and they argue about basically the legitimacy and the existence of transgender people. Can a man be a woman? And they'll sit there and literally episode after episode after episode after episode. That's all they're talking about. And it's just like all these problems that affect humanity at large. Because whether you like it or not, transgender people are human beings. So, you know, that aside, who cares, man? Let people do what they want. Isn't that supposed to be part of the whole thing about conservatism? In a lot of ways, it's that, you know, you're independent and you live in your own life and you're minding your own business. Well, of course, they can't do that because conservatives in this country are obsessed with the LGBTQ community. And they're obsessed with everybody who's just different than them. So you see this all over the place. And that's why we have to out-organize. We have to out-vote. We have to out-mobilize and do more action than they do because they're ridiculous. And we know that our fight is a good one.